revealed, Prince Charles and Camilla plotted to smear Diana to win public's love. Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles plotted to besmirch Princess Diana as a heated counterattack from their vilification at the hands of the people's princess in the media, according to a tell-all book. In Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles by Tom Bauer, it is alleged that Prince Charles and Camilla planned to slur Diana as a scheming hysteric and hired a 29-year-old spin doctor to achieve their aim. It came after the marriage between Charles and Diana broke down and the princess very effectively used the media to lambaste the royal family. In one interview with a journalist, she said, Charles is obsessed by Camilla's TTS and I haven't got TTS as big as Camilla's. Camilla is said to have originally called Diana a mouse but later referred to her as a mad cow. In 1995, Diana won over the hearts and the minds of the public after a secretly recorded interview was shown on Panorama. She said, well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. This drove Camilla into seclusion for a year and meant a lot of Charles' public appearances were ignored by the media while journalists and spectators besieged Diana, according to the book. Prince Charles' approval ratings took a huge hit and Camilla worried he was at risk of buckling under the pressure or failing to inherit the crown, it is claimed. In 1996, Camilla turned to solicitor Hilary Brown Wilkinson who had recently handled her divorce. The solicitor suggested hiring Mark Bolland, a well-connected 29-year-old director of the Press Complaints Commission as a spin doctor. But at the end of 1996 in a poll of 3,000 people, Charles was voted the most hated royal just above Camilla and Princess Diana's star remained undimmed. The media spin was not enough and so the prince decided to cooperate with journalist Penny Jenner who was planning to write a book sympathetic to Camilla and to launch Camilla. She was to host a fundraiser for the National Osteoporosis Society after her mother suffered from the condition. This was to mark the beginning of a five-year campaign to transform her from adulteress into a likable heir to the throne. But after the invitations were sent out came the news of Princess Diana's death. Prince Charles is said to have been worried that people blame the death of Diana on him. In the hours after the princess's death, one of the Queen's courtiers claimed that even Charles' sons were critical of him. Prince Charles dithered about going to Paris until the Queen said, I think you should get out there. Allegedly, Prince Charles became increasingly angry about the status of his ex-wife after her death when she was mythologized despite being a nutter. Camilla and Prince Charles realized the campaign to make improve their image had to be suspended. Camilla and Bolland arranged for a journalist that Camilla knew to write a flattering article about her in the Sunday Times. Charles, Camilla and Mark Bolland also met at Highgrove to construct another campaign to demythologize Diana by portraying her as a manipulative hysteric. After Diana's death, Penny Jenner had recast her book to portray the princess as an unbalanced and unfaithful wife suffering from borderline personality disorder who compelled Charles to return to his true love. Charles reportedly said we must get this out when he heard the news, but publicly he claimed he had not authorized, solicited or approved the book. In 1999 Camilla and Prince Charles planned a four-day trip to America just two years after Diana's death. The couple leaked details about their trip and drip-fed positive stories. After leaking details of where they'd been they posed together for the first time at the door of the Ritz Hotel in London. Once having been the most hated woman in the UK, Camilla was now on her way to becoming queen.